Hello, my name is Jose Bishop, and today I will be reading and commentating on an extract from William Shakespeare's magnificent play, The Taming of the Shrew. The extract I have chosen to read and commentate on is Act 4, Scene 5, from lines 1 to 25. The title of this scene is On the Road to Padua. Although this is a small scene of the play, it is rather as interesting and essential one and I'll expand on this later on in the audio tape. The three main characters in this scene are Petruccio, Caterina and Hortensio. Petruccio and Caterina being the most important. There are also other minor characters in the background of the play, for example the servants. Sadly today I will not be reading past line 25, so I will not get the pleasure of introducing you to a rather alluring character of Vincencio. I guess you will just have to read the play and find out about this character and the conflicts in which he plays part. Act 4, Scene 5, On the Road to Padua. Enter Petruccio, Caterina, Hortensio and Servants. Come on, a God's name, once more towards our Father. Good Lord, how bright and goodly shines the moon. The moon, the sun, it is not moonlight now. I say it is the moon that shines so bright. I know it is the sun that shines so bright. Now, by my father's sun, and that myself, it shall be the moon or the star, or what I list, or oh, I journey to our, your father's house. Go on, and fetch our horses back again, ever more crossed and crossed, nothing but crossed. Say as he says, or we shall never go. Forward, I pray, since we have come so far, and be it moon or sun or what you please, and if you please to call it a rush candle, henceforth I vow it shall be so for me. I say it is the moon. I know it is the moon. Now then you lie, it is the blessed sun. Then God be blessed, it is the blessed sun. But sun it is not, when you say it is not. And the moon changes even as your mind. What will you have it named, even that it is? And so it shall be so, for Catherine. Petruccio, go thy ways. The field is won. Well, forward, forward. Thus the bow shall run, and not unluckily against the biased. Well, that's the end of the reading, so I can answer some of your questions now. Oh, okay. So... When they say o oh, oh, it means before. When they're saying crossed, it means to be contradicted. Like, when you say something and then you say the opposite of yourself, you're contradicting yourself. Then, go thy ways is a way of saying well done in their time. Fresher and green both mean youthful and new. Against the bias is against the norm or against nature. Where away is where are you going, like which place and stuff. Was there any other words? No? Okay, good. The Act 4, Scene 5 is the last scene of Act 4. So it kind of closes it all off, the act. As you can notice in what I've just read that the play really is about taming the shrew even though calling a woman a shrew is a bad term but that's what it's about like he says that it's the moon even though it's actually the sun and she's controlling her he's controlling her saying it's the moon that's what it is you have to accept it and then Hortensio is saying just go along with his ideas and stuff like that. You'll reap the benefits of it. And so it actually shows uh, that it's she's accepting adulthood and really thinking that if she just plays along with his games or whatever and does what he says, then she'll get the benefits and she'll live a happier life. So... Um, that's kind of a small part of the play and uh, I hope you go back and 
read the rest of it and really enjoy Shakespeare as much as I have. It's pretty inspiring stuff when you try and write plays. Thank you and see you next time.